Hi, I'm Chef George Calambaris, all the way from Melbourne, Australia. I'm right here in Singapore, and guess what? You're watching Imagine TV. I love the fact that I'm one of the, the judges on MasterChef Australia. It's an, a massive honour and a, 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 a position that I, I respect every single day. Um, the job came to me with, uh, I guess, the opportunity to give this a go, and I did, and, and here I am now. Six seasons in, we're about to shoot season seven, and I absolutely adore it and love it. In saying that, I've got a big responsibility, and a responsibility that I take with open arms. My cooking style's simple. Um, it's taking the best produce we possibly can find and grow, and cook it with a, with a modern background. My background is, is Greek, of course. I'm an Aussie, born in Australia with family uh, that, of course, have heritage from Greece. So my food is simple, tasty, and super, super yummy, I hope. When creating a new dish for the restaurant, we use uh, uh, my kitchen called Press Club Projects, which is a development arm for the, for the group. And we use that to create all the dishes for the restaurants. Um, when we create a dish, it's about nostalgia, it's about the past, it's about the future, it's about the ingredients that's in season. And it's mostly about making sure that we make people laugh, we make people happy, and we make sure that people walk out with smiles on their face. Plenty of people always walk up to me saying they want to become chefs. To become a great chef, you need to, it's a bit like a tightrope walker. You need to walk with super balance, accuracy, and you need to have a dedication to get to the other side every single day. The greatest food in the world is the food that has tradition, it has culture, it has soul, it comes from a place. And that is any advice I can give any young cook is never forget your roots, never forget your past. It's your past that forges forward your future. If you can connect all that together, learn technique, get the best ingredients possible, you're gonna become an amazing chef. There are plenty of dishes on MasterChef that we've tasted and seen. Lots of them that are memorable. For example, series one of MasterChef, Poe cooking these beautiful century beets made of tapioca. Oh my gosh, I can still taste it on the end of my lips. Um, I've loved every minute of it, don't get me wrong, there has been some dishes along the way that I've forgotten about, but can I tell you, majority of them, memorable, delicious, and absolutely yummy. Fondest food memories for me in my life, there's been plenty of them. I think uh, if I could relive them all again, I would. But for me, it's definitely those of, you know, uh, Sunday afternoon going to my grandmother's and her cooking me Greek donuts with honey and walnuts. Or, you know, my mum's simple egg and lemon soup. Or it, could even, or it could even be sitting at the fat duck eating Sound of the Sea or even chicken at La Pyramide in Vienne. Uh, my, my experiences so far have been absolutely amazing. I mean, I'm so grateful for these experiences. I'm super blessed and I'm telling you now, I'm a super happy man. The idea of the green Greek salad comes simply from that classic Greek salad, tomatoes, cucumbers, olives, onions, feta. Uh, it, it, understandably, tomatoes aren't in season this time of the year in Australia, but things like peas, beans, broad beans, asparagus are in season, and I want to celebrate them. So we created the Green Greek Salad, um, all combining this amazing green textures, um, different flavours, and of course, uh, the most amazing abalone that is farmed uh, really close to, to our waters in Victoria. Um, a dish that's currently on the menu at the Press Club that I'm super proud of. Unexpected benefits of being on MasterChef Australia. Well, pushing in the line at the car wash. I'm very lucky, I'm in a fortunate position. People love MasterChef and obviously people love the judges on MasterChef. So we're very la lucky and grateful for that. Um, but you know, our job isn't finished yet. We've still got a few more series to make.